first of all, uh, I've been proud a lot of times this year of our, of our team. Uh, I can't be more prouder tonight of what they accomplished. I mean, um, <clears throat> to play an explosive Jacksonville team, and we knew it'd be it'd be very difficult to stop them. Um, Cade Bell, I can't say nothing about that young man. And one of our coaches commented, our defense coordinator commented on uh, commented on Monday in the staff meeting. He said, "Coach, he's the FCS version version of Johnny Manziel," and uh, he was dead on it. The kid would scramble. Uh, he throws. Uh, Sometimes he throws sidearm, sometimes he throws three quarters, sometimes he throws over the top. Uh, he, he's just a ball player, and uh, he's the guy that makes them go. And, you know, he got his throws in, he got his yards, and we just made that one play there at the end uh, to seal the game. But we knew coming in it was going to be a game like this, and we had to have drives, we had to possess the ball and uh, in order to be successful. And let me, let me say this before I even go any further. Uh, I've, I've been in a lot of FCS atmospheres, and that may be the best I've ever been in. Uh, 2004 and five, we played Georgia Southern uh, at home, and uh, I mean four, and we played them at home. In 2005, we played them down there. But this atmosphere tonight on the blackout, the fans are making just came out, and I want to say thank you for the fans, thank you to our students. I mean, they were there in full force. Our band, uh, our, our families, uh, everybody involved uh, with Mercer football was there tonight, and it was a great atmosphere. Uh, I will say this, Coach Fontenet did say, Coach, because you know, as, you, as you're going through the game, you, you got certain calls you like. He said, next second is short, you might want to think about calling the flea flicker. And uh, so we got to be second and, th and, and three. And uh, he coaches receivers, and, uh, and I, 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 I beat him to it. I said, we're calling it right here. And uh, we didn't execute it perfectly. Um, you know, we'd, we'd, had, we'd had Peyton in there ripping it out all week, and then Jatari gets in there. Jatari didn't make a great pitch back. Uh, to John, and John probably overthrew it, but three went and got it like no other. Uh, probably made one of the best catches he's made since I, since he's been here on our football team. But that was a big, big play, obviously. <laughs> well, I, you know, I knew when we got the ball back that we had 240, 250, whatever it was, and they had three timeouts. I said, guys, we can either run it three times, make them burn their timeouts, and, and, and we ain't going to waste much time. I said, we're we getting ready to throw it. So we tried to throw the tight end seam route on a little play action pass. They covered it pretty good. And, and, and uh, you know, on the last one, it was third and whatever, 15, 16. We just ran a little draw and tried to get, get it back. But then we punted it back. Great job by our punt team. Rob East punts it dead on the, on the two-yard line. Uh, our, our defense goes out there and just makes plays. And they continue to make plays. On the drive before, we had a couple opportunities to make a play to end the game. We just couldn't. And we just needed one play at that point in time. Uh, and they made it and, uh, and fumbled. And I, I guess uh, Tosa, did Tosa get that ball, the fumble? He caught it. Uh, Devin, he Davis caught, Davis Devin Davis got it, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, was, I mean, I was going crazy. I couldn't tell who it was. Well, you know, we blocked them all. Peyton cut up in the hole, and the safety came downhill. And, and you could just see it. Uh, the safety kind of tripped, at least that's what the ref said, and, and both their helmets went straight down on top of each other. And it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact if I've ever seen any, but the ref told me that, uh, the safety tripped, and it wasn't his intent. And I said, well, I don't know about that, but it, it was helmet to helmet. And my, my starting tailback's out. So uh, he, he went through the, the protocol on the sidelines, and uh, we just couldn't get him back in. We had Jatari, and, and Jatari ran uh, like he normally runs and did a great job. <clears throat> I mean, I keep saying it all year long. It's like I told the referee. I said, listen, man. I said, these guys are giants over there. I said, we got all freshmen and about three, six sophomores over here. I said, I said, they just keep playing. But, but the amazing thing to me, and I just keep saying it over and over, these freshmen and sophomores, they don't know any better. They just keep playing. They just don't play the next play. And our coaches have done an outstanding job with that and, and, and have instilled the confidence. But we had success early with the team. Anytime you have success, we've got key players that, that are pretty, pretty star players for us uh, in, in key positions. And... They just keep coming and keep playing. And while we're, un we're undersized, they're bigger than we are, they're faster than we are, uh, we are in the right spot most of the time, and we're able to make a few plays to, to win the game. And uh, like I said, it's it one of the best football games I've be ever been involved with. When Payne went out, you know, I said, Payne's a great player, and I thought that maybe me and Jatari would kind of take the load by ourselves and try to do the run game. So I didn't expect a, as many yards as I did, but hey, just got to play ball. Great offensive line. Yeah, they kept coming up to the coming up to the line, snapping it, making us keep working. We just were a bend don't break defense, so we just kept battling until the very end. In my head, I was telling myself, just take one play at a time. That's all you can do with football. Just take it one play at a time and give it give it your all. That play I gave it my all, and I guess it came to my favor.
I think our bond is a lot to do with it because we're a very close group of people. So um, the fact that we're that close helps us to play better together and just have each other's backs. So um, the offense is doing bad, the defense picks each other up. When the defense is doing bad, the offense picks us up. So it's like we're a family, so we don't have to fight for each other.